I'm looking at this, I'm thinking negative 9 minus 6. Not negative 9, negative 6. That's a minus sign right there. I need to change that. So I'm going to have negative 9, and I'm going to change my minus into what? Plus negative. Good, yeah. We learned that uh, like last week. We changed minuses into plus negatives. I'll leave the bottom alone. I don't want to worry about it right now. Then I'm going to put this together. Negative 9 plus negative 6, that's my addition rule with the same sign. I'm going to add them together and keep the common sign. I'm going to get how much? Negative. Beautiful, that's perfect. We've done the top. We have down to one number. On the bottom, it's a little bit better. We don't have any extra step there. We have addition rule. Signs are different. I'm going to subtract and get negative 10. It's still negative 3. Now I carry that down one more step. Now I can go ahead and divide those things. Negative 15 divided by negative 3. We have two negatives. That should give us 5. five. five. Positive 5. That's exactly right. Ladies and gentlemen, how many feel okay with what we just talked about so far? All right, good. We have time for two more examples. I'm going to show you one of them. Uh, you do one on your own, and we'll call it a day. Are the same stuff or something new? It's going to be different than this. Same, same idea of uh, order of operations. Okay, just adding, you're just going to add on to it. We're going to start adding pieces to these things. So this is our first little step here. Let's, let's answer these questions together. Uh, first off, do I have any parentheses that I need to do something inside of? <coughs> yes. Yes. That I need to do something no. inside of? No. no. Okay, so that parentheses, all it says to me is I am a negative 2. That's all it says. Okay. okay. Now, do you remember what we started our lesson off with, the little review of the exponents? Remember that? Yeah. I said, okay, so my question is, since we have no parentheses to do, we're down to exponents, does the negative go with the 2 or not? Yes. yes. No. Is it in the parentheses? No. Yes. Look here. No. Is the negative in the parentheses? Yes. yes. Oh, the negative in the other term. Okay. So, yeah, if it's in the parentheses, it's gonna, what this means is, yep, it means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Does that make sense to you? Yes. How much is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2? Eight. Good. Negative. Eight or negative eight? Negative, negative eight. eight. Good. So make sure we're saying that. We have that down. So really, I'm not dealing with this yet. I have 12 plus 17 because my order hasn't gotten there yet. Look, look, look how carefully I write this. Please watch. I have the plus sign. I have to write the plus sign. All I'm doing is changing one little part of it. I'm taking negative 2 to the third because in parentheses I'm going to do that. Negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 8. I'm going to write negative 8. Do I want to leave it like this? No. no. What do I want? Parentheses. Right, because that says negative. Now we're cooking. Now we got something that we can do. See, the, the integers make it make it think more about order of operations, don't they? You have to think about signs now. Now what do we do? You add. Good. Why? Left or right? What would you check before you added and subtracted? What would you check? What's your order of operations after exponents? Okay, so we would check that first. Of course, we don't have any of that. So yeah, you're right. We are going to add because we're going from left to right. So we do these two. That's not bad. This is just two positive numbers. We get how much? 29. And if you look at it, we wrote it appropriately because that's just using addition rule again. We're right back to where we started in 2.2 for this challenge. 18. Yeah, it's 8. Is that not right? 8. <laughs> how about that? Better? That's funny because sometimes I make a mistake, I see this. And then I know I did something stupid. Then you guys tell me. All right, so we have this one down. We got 29 plus negative 8. Addition rule says we're going to add or subtract. What do you think? Subtract. Sure. And is it going to be positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Yeah. 21. You subtract. Get the sign of the bigger number because we're, we're using additional rules there. 
Okay, do one more on your own. We'll go over it pretty quickly, and then we'll practice a lot of this tomorrow. Okay, I already gave you the homework for 2.4, right? Mm -hmm. You know what? That's homework. Yeah, we're not far enough along for me to give it to you. Yes. Well, it's not like it'd be due tomorrow anyway. Okay, well, no. Say okay, well, no. It's <laughs> 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 pretty funny. All right, so we go ahead and do this thing. We're going to leave the addition alone because we know we're going to do uh, order operations correctly this time. We're going to do nine plus eight. We're going to have the plus sign there. Negative 3 to the third power makes negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. It's in parentheses. It goes with it. So we're going to get 27 or negative 27? Negative 27. I have to have that because that says it's negative, not the minus. Then I'm going to do addition rules. This gives me 17 plus negative 27. Good. Subtract. Negative Subtract. Negative number. Negative 10, yeah. Negative 1. How many people got that right? Good for you. Very good. We're going to practice a whole lot more of this next time. Well, I hope you all are doing well today. We are going to continue talking about the order of operations. If you remember from last time, we, will talk, we were talking about that PEMDAS order of operations stuff, but how it relates to now integers. So we have positives and negatives, and we were just slowly working our way through some problems, kind of making them a little bit more complex <laughs> as we go. So that's what we're going to start off right now. Uh, I'll do one with you. I'll have you do a couple on your own. And we're just going to build up and practice today. That's really all we're doing is practicing the order of operations, which is great because this is where most people make mistakes in Math 80 classes, which is what you're in. This is a really good problem for me to see if you remember about the whole exponent idea. So when we do this problem, the first question I have for you, when you see that negative 4 squared plus negative 5 squared minus 2 cubed, what I want to know is for the very first part, of course, we, we would check for parentheses, right? Do I have any parentheses that I can do something inside of? Yes. That I can no. do something inside no. of? I have parentheses, but all it's telling me is I have negative numbers. That's it. So I don't have any parentheses. I'd go down to exponents. I have several exponents. We just do them from left to right. In fact, with exponents, you can do them all at the same time if you'd like. That's fine. As long as you don't have exponents raised to exponents, we're okay on that. So we can do all three of these pieces right now. But the first question I have for you is, on the very first part, that negative 4 squared, is that going to end up being a positive or a negative? What do you think? Positive. Negative. negative. I heard both answers out there. Negative. Is the negative in any sort of parentheses? No. no. Okay. So the question is, is the negative being part of what's being squared? No. No. So what this says to us, this is the one that says 4 squared. This is where I think you, you might have saw me cover it up. If there's no parentheses here, that negative is not included with the 4. I know that's hard to understand for some, for some people. You, you can't include it. Look at the difference between this example and this example. Do you see how the parentheses is grouping the negative around the 5? Yet yeah, it's not grouping around the 4. What this says is negative, pause, 4 squared. Negative, 4 squared. How much is 4 squared? 16. Negative 16. That's what that says. This one says negative 5 squared. Notice how I'm saying it even differently. I'm saying negative 4 squared and negative 5 squared. It means all the whole negative 5 is being squared. Here, this is not. This is not being squared. This is negative 16. That little part is negative 16. 
the negative is not in parentheses, therefore it's just out front of your number. That's what it says. Now we still have this plus sign. Let's do the rest of these exponents. How, is, how much is negative 5 squared? 25. Positive or negative? Positive. Definitely. Absolutely. It's, it's within the parentheses, right? It's being multiplied negative 5 times negative 5. That's positive 25. Lastly, is this minus associated with this 2 when you take it to the exponent or not? No. What do you think? No. no, it's not in parentheses. We're just going to put a minus. And then we ignore that for a second. We think about 2 to the third power, eight. which is 6, right? Mm -hmm. No. No, it's 8. Okay. Eight. Why is it 8? Two times two four. Okay. That's the appropriate way to do your exponents. You really have to consider whether in whether they're in parentheses or not. So now that we've done our exponents, we would check for multiplication, division. We don't have any of that. Therefore, we go down to addition, subtraction. Let's go ahead and do this from left to right. Addition, subtraction of these two numbers is how much? How much? Let's use our addition rules. Are the signs the same or different? Different. That means you're going to add or subtract. <coughs> Keep the sign of the bigger number. How much are you going to get? Nine. Nine. Now at this point you have 9 minus 8. You got a couple options. You can change that to plus a negative. Remember changing to plus a negative? Yeah. 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 You could do that if you want to. Or since it's just a, a bigger number minus a smaller number, you can leave it. I don't care. That's up to you. So 9 minus 8, how much are we going to get there? 1. The whole thing is equal to 1. That's kind of weird, right? The whole thing we're working down is 1. I'm going to give you a couple try on your own. I really want you to work through this. Make sure right now, I know, I know many of you are very good from here on out. I've seen your homework. It looks great. But many of, them, many of you are also kind of struggling on this concept. So I want you to really focus on getting this step right right now. Are you with me? Focus right there. I'll be walking around. If you need help, see me. I'm just going to write that a little lower. I don't have enough room. <laughs> 